Hi, welcome back to RedHatLoves.net. This is Don Shank with Red Hat. Today I want to talk about the ASP.NET Music Store application. It's kind of a sample app to use to show off what you can do with .NET Core. It uses Entity Framework. It uses SQL Server if you're in Windows. Uh, if you're running like in Mono or .NET Core, it uses in-memory database. Here's the website, ASP.NET slash music store inside of GitHub. You can see it references like DNX. It, it's, the readme is dated, I guess. And we're gonna run this on uh, .NET Core 1.0. So the first thing we're gonna do is clone it. Well, the first thing you do is fork it, right? No, I, I forked it to my repo and I'm gonna clone it. And so it's there. If you do an LS, you see music store. If you go into it, <clears throat> there's a source directory. I'll just show you. You go into source, and then there's two. There's a standalone, and there's a music store. I don't. To be honest, I haven't even looked at the standalone. The music store one is the one I want. That's the web app, and I can run a .NET restore, and that should be pretty interesting, right? Because it's gonna. Oh yeah, .NET restore, and that's gonna pull down all the assemblies I need from NuGet. But you'll what you'll see what'll happen. It's it's not gonna work. Uh, spoil spoiler alert, because it's looking for some R3C. RC3 stuff and we want just RC2 so watch this get tag list and you can see there is an RC2 uh, release so get checkout and if you specify the tags 1.0.0.rc2 and now we have the RC2 and now if I do a .NET restore it should work so it's going to pull down just the RC2 pieces you know DLLs <clears throat> and that worked fine and now we can do a build and now watch this when you do a build it looks at your project dot JSON and gets all the information it needs for the build and you can see the red the errors I'll show you what that is it tried to do a build for a version uh, 451 of the framework and that's for Windows so it, it did successfully do the build for the .NET Core. There's a way to get around that though. You can do this. You can specify just the framework you want. Net Core App 1.0 <clears throat> and it'll only do the build for that one. Now, of course, it skipped it because it previously did it, but that's how you get around those errors. And then you can just do a .NET Run and Music Store should start up. That's the, that's the easy part. <laughs> the slow part is when you go over here the first time you, you hit the page because it has to fire up. So we go to localhost 5000. Wait about five or six seconds for the server to get started, you know, the web server application, and there it is. So that's the music store running in RHEL. It's, it's that pretty easy. We'll cancel out of that. And the next video I'll do, we'll open that within Visual Studio Code and do some debugging. That's it for now. Thanks.